Welcome to Rescale. In this video, we will show you how to run Dassault Epicus on Rescale's ScaleX platform. We will demonstrate how to use Rescale desktops to monitor or review results in the cloud. Abacus is a powerful finite element analysis solver that is used for fatigue and lifing predictions among many other applications in alternative energy. Let's get started. First, let's create and run Abacus in a batch framework. We'll start by bringing in our input files, specifying our software, and then selecting the hardware. Select our Abacus input file there. And now we can move to the next step and select our Abacus software of the appropriate version. Once we've done that, we'll use the latest version. We have to populate the run command. We can do that with a simple click. There's our input file specified. And then the last step here under the software is to specify how to check out the license. For most users, this will mean they have a specified port number with a certain license host, and this is created for them as a policy and retained and saved as a value in the platform. The last step is to select our cloud infrastructure. There's a variety of different infrastructure available on Rescale grouped according to their distinguishing features. Finite element analysis like Abacus, we may want to pick something that has quite a bit of RAM per core, such as this Chromium infrastructure. We can literally adjust this number of cores to right size to the number of degrees of freedom number of nodes and elements in the model. Now for my simple case here, I may not need hundreds of cores, but I might, I might settle for about 32 cores. Go ahead and run this job. Now once we submit the job, the Rescale platform goes through some sanity checks and walks through the process of establishing that cluster in the cloud. That takes about three to five minutes. So let's take a look at, a, at the same job that's currently running because there's some additional things I want you to see. Once the job is running, there's this feature called live tailing in which you can see all of the output being generated by your job. This also allows you to actively monitor the output from the job in any text-based output file. There's a variety of different files you can look at and these files will be live updated on the fly. Now, let's consider a use case where you want to review results from an already completed Abacus simulation. In that scenario, we'll come here again to create a new job, and we'll set the job type to an end-to-end -end desktop. This provides a post-processing session in which we can attach already existing results and look at them in Abacus CAE UI. We can bring in input files. We can also attach existing jobs. Similarly, we'll select our, hard, our software, which is the CAE Interactive Workflow, and we'll specify the license just as we did before. Last, we can select the hardware. Now, depending on how we plan to use this resource, which in our case, it will be for mostly post-processing, we may actually want to select some hardware with a GPU that's accelerated for post-processing use cases, such as this infrastructure here called Citrine. We'll give our desktop a name. We don't need 64 cores for this case. We could probably live with eight. And we'll go ahead and submit this job. Now, Similarly to the batch job that I just showed you, this will take about three to five minutes to start. So let's take a look at the same case that's already running and let's connect to that Abacus desktop and review what actually happens when we click that connect button. Rescale platform creates a new browser tab and it lands into that Linux desktop that you've asked for. Here's the Abacus CAE 2022. I've actually already started it and read in this example data set from the model that we've been experimenting with. And now we can interrogate the data set and run through a variety of post-processing tasks to extract the data we may need for reports or other output. To recap, we've covered how to run Abacus in a batch framework on the Rescale platform. 
as well as run the Abacus CAE viewer to look at data sets through the end-to-end -end desktop framework on the Rescale platform. Thank you.